Well, here's a shocker. Uh, a Palestinian and Jordanian journalist spoke with normal Palestinians about Hamas. And as to be expected, most of them were fearful to talk about Hamas and spoke anonymously about the extent the general population was used as human shields. This being reported by our online journal, The Honest Report. And as many of you probably know already that Hamas and Israel will resume their talks in Cairo this Tuesday. Here's another one that uh, Honest Reporting is also bringing, and it's uh, actually it's by Reuters. It says, Tehran's willing to help the West fight ISIS in exchange for American flexibility on Iran's centrifuges and sanctions. Well, in light of what was reported uh, a couple days ago by myself, that uh, the U.S.-Israeli uh, relationship is no longer a high priority, and the U.S. simply doesn't need uh, Israel anymore in order to fulfill their Middle East obligations. So don't be shocked if, in fact, the uh, United States does strike a deal that will be very dangerous to Israel. But this is what I really wanted to present to you, and that is uh, reported by Ynet News. It's France, Israel, Palestinian solution to be presented to the UNSC, meaning the U.S. or UN Security Council. And what the article says, says a solution to the conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians will be put to the UN Security Council. French President Holland said yesterday at after meeting Pres, uh, uh, Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas in Paris. We will have a resolution to be presented to the Security Council that will say very clearly what we expect from uh, the peace process and what the solution to the conflict must be, Holland told reporters. The French President said that stop-start negotiations had gone on too long and there is a perception that uh, there will never be a solution to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, even though we know the outlines of a possible deal. The most recent armed co confrontation was the third time that Gaza has been destroyed, Holland said. Uh, what we must look for is a durable peace, pro uh, pre peace accord, he said, adding that stalled peace talks must now reach their end. Abbas urged all countries to assume their responsibilities to end the conflict that has lasted more than 66 years. Making peace will give added legitimacy to the fight against terrorism in the region, he added. Abbas, who is trying to build support ahead of a new Palestinian diplomatic push within the United Nations, said that Fran France could give impetus to an Arab uh, League-backed plan calling for an end to Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territories and the formation of a Palestinian state based on 1967 borders. Well, certainly this could be a major problem, not just because uh, they're going to the UN, but now they've got major world powers that are involved and in pushing this peace process. And I don't necessarily believe that Israel doesn't want peace. They just simply don't want it based on, on 1967 borders. They do realize that at some point in time that they are going to have to give up uh, portions of the West Bank. But frankly, I'm not that worried about uh, them going before the U.N. Security Council unless the United States finally decides to turn their back upon Israel and allows the U.N. to have its way with uh, Israel. You know, the question everyone should be asking themselves, is this just going to be more of the same where we have a start, stop, start, stop situation? Or is this recent study that uh, the Israelis did that the U.S. no longer has any use for Israel finally coming true? Well, now that France is leading the way uh, and uh, trumpeting this charge, this certainly could be a game changer that could lead the United States to allow the UN Security Council to play out its cards. In the past, the U.S. would have stepped in and uh, prevented any resolutions from going forward, but this may very well be a, a game changer. I certainly would keep my eyes on this particular situation and see how it unfolds. So what do I see for the various situations that are going on, not only in the, in the Middle East, but also around the world? Well, let's first start with Ukraine. I look for Ukraine to come to an agreement that will favor the, the, uh, the Russia and send a message to the rest of the former Soviet states. And the message being that they simply can't rely upon the West to uh, maintain their security. This, in the long run, will lead to Russia, Turkey, and Iran It's in its... Uh, minions to come down upon Israel and to attack Israel to take a spoil. ISIS, well right now, uh, like I said, Iran is trying to make a deal with the United States to help uh, defeat the ISIS threat 
in back channel, back door uh, negotiations, I believe that the United States will come to an agreement with Iran and that uh, they will play a vital role in squashing ISIS. Whether or not the uh, United States will put uh, boots on the ground in order to defeat this uh, cancer is unknown at this time, but don't be shocked if that is the case. What part will ISIS play in Bible prophecy? Well, I don't believe that ISIS has a major role in direct Bible prophecy. They may indirectly, and I, you know, as I said earlier in, in the article, that they believe that a peace accord with Israel, the Palestinians do anyway, that it will help eliminate uh, uh, terrorism by unifying the Middle East. Frankly, I believe the same thing. I think that this ISIS problem is going to serve as a unifying factor in trying to destroy uh, terrorism, and namely ISIS. Now, we know the Bible says that at some point in time that there will be peace in the Middle East, uh, or at least a covenant will be confirmed by the Antichrist during the tribula or to start kick off the tribulation period. Of course, I believe that the rapture of the church will take place prior to that. But how big a role the UN Security Council will play in uh, getting uh, Israel to come to an agreement with the Palestinians and also with Hamas is still up in the air, but we'll, we'll wait. We'll have to wait and see. We do know that at some point in time, a gradual peace accord will be uh, implemented. How that will play out is anybody's uh, guess, but I do foresee something happening in these set of uh, negotiations with the UN Security Council. It, like I said, it'll be interesting to see how the U.S. will respond. Because we know that the UN Security Council is not going to pronounce any judgment in Israel's favor. And if you're looking for the eye of how the end times is going to unravel, I truly believe you need to keep yourself uh, tuned to the Calvary Prophecy Report. You know, while others are um, presenting more of a talk show type of presentation of Bible prophecy, we here at the Calvary Prophecy Report actually keep you tuned in to what's happening and how it actually relates to Bible prophecy. And for those who have been with me for uh, decades, know that that's the truth. And we will continue to do so. And I want to tell you right now that if you don't know the Lord, you need, to, you need to accept Him today because your time is running out. And also, I can't think of a better witnessing tool than my uh, Tribulation Period Survival Guide. If you have lost loved ones that you suspect will not come to the Lord before the rapture of the church takes place, you need to get a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide in their hands. There are two versions. One is a free version that's online. And I've also created a paperback version that uh, many have been asking about that was made specifically so that, they, so that a Christian could hand their lost loved one this book and make sure that they had a, the tools to uh, take into the tribulation period with them. Certainly nobody wants to, know, nobody wants to think that their lost loved one is going to be uh, going into the tribulation period. And certainly nobody wants to think that their lost loved one is going to go to hell. But the reality is, is that the vast majority of people who die every day are going to end up in a burning hell. And another reality is, is that the vast majority of people are not going to be raptured and they're going to go through the tribulation period. That's why I wrote this book and why I encourage you every time I have a video that you need to get a copy of this book and to get it in the hands of your lost loved one. Don't think for a second that they're going to accidentally get their hands on this book once the rapture takes place. That probably is not going to be the case. You're going to have to get it to them. So I encourage you to make this investment today. Not, and if you can, if you can get the, get it in the hands of more than just one, then that's great. But I would I would encourage you to do so. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.